honest, honestly, I just miss talking to people and I feel like Zoom doesn't let me do that because the default is to just lecture because it's easy. As it lacks structure, my motivation just kind of dies off. Like it's fine for the first 20 minutes or so, but if I'm just not engaged, there's nothing happening, there's no conversation going on, after a while I just completely shut off. Um, I miss the social interaction aspect basically in class. I think that's the major difference. Because after, say, like Leonora, 20 minutes, I do zone out and I end up falling asleep. I don't even have the camera on anyway. I'm guilty of turning my camera off, yes. <laughs> so basically my camera goes off and I'm talking with my family or doing other things and not properly focusing because after 20 minutes, I'm, I'm lost, honestly. I think Zoom kind of gives you an excuse to hide behind something. I don't know if that's just me, but if you're more of an introvert, like you'll take every reason you can get to not turn your camera on. But then I think we're just not giving it because I don't know, we have gone to such an extent like if the first class no one switches on their camera, I think the trend continues till the last class. And once I did it for about 10 minutes and I felt dumb, so I went back off the camera. <laughs> and I just feel like because there's no interaction with other people and they're not introducing any conversations, they're just talking at us. But it's just that the social interaction is missing, the faces are missing, the body language is missing. And all of that just kind of resorts to a black screen because there's no relationship in it anymore. I like polls. I'm just going to be weird and say I really like them. Like I love it when it pops up on my screen and I feel like I need to do something. I would say um, with my ones, just any sort of group work, any sort of interaction because I have not had that once. I actually really think that um, the classes that have breakout rooms, I leave feeling happier, if that makes sense. I would rather have it for like short meetings for an hour where the discussion can be more interactive. You know, their facial expressions, just the way they teach. I love watching that. That's how I learn. I don't really learn through someone just talking to me normally. Like it needs to be adapted to online, but instead of that happening, I actually feel like I'm doing so much more. For me, personally, it's seeing how it's relevant in my life. Why are we learning this? Why are we doing this? Like the big why behind everything. If the teacher manages to bring that across, like that, that is me being motivated to do it. Also in group settings, I just feel like I'm way more motivated. I'm going to say 85% of the time, I don't know why I'm doing something apart from the fact that I need it for my attendance, which <laughs> makes me sad. <laughs> But I'm just like typing on my computer, like crying. People just keep talking at me and not with me. And they don't show me that kind of a spark. I'm just lost. They're going so fast because there's so much content to be. I just, we all get lost, to be honest. To me, it's passion. I feel like when, it, when someone's excited about talking or teaching us the content, there's a massive difference. Like when someone isn't as passionate or isn't as enthusiastic, I zone out. My ideal teacher, he kind of ideally just show me their passion. Like I really want that engaged discussion. And you really need someone who engages you with the way they speak, the way they think, the way they kind of break up structures. And that is something that is way more important sometimes than just being in a conversation. I think that's the nice thing, like basically what you like to just did was they took something that was kind of like textbook and they made it more personalized and that's where people kind of related to it. Like, I think those are like the key themes, like relationship based learning, then something to make it personal and also like the point of meeting us in the middle, like having an honest teacher that says, you know what, it's okay to be wrong sometimes, but I want you guys to think. But then once they have this passion, they usually pass it on to their students it comes out of them and basically that enthusiasm on the face that puts the energy into you there was this you know odd one tutorial where the tutor actually wanted me to think for myself and as i've moved into postgrad now i've realized that a good tutorial for me is asking me to think 
for myself and formulate my own opinion. Like, cause I feel like they've got this big brain and they, they've got all the dots connected and I'm just trying to pick up dots at a time and trying to put them into my own life. Well, I absolutely agree. For me, the, I value the fact that a teacher reached out to me and asked for my opinion. Like that's respect, that's mutual respect. And I really value that. I think it's also about reflecting with your students. Like you don't have mm-hmm. to guess what they're thinking. Like just invite them into a conversation. Just say, hey, like did today work? <laughs>